believer's baptism. As Christians, we know that we must confess that the only way to heaven is through Christ Jesus. He is God's only Son who had to die on the cross. At the time of his death, it was a difficult loss. Admit you are a sinner and can never be perfect, deserving of death, which was God's ultimate verdict. Admit that Jesus died on the cross for all of man's sin, something only you can do. It must come from within. By this confession of faith, you enter God's kingdom, accepting the Holy Spirit and all of his wisdom. Now Jesus comes to reside in your heart with your soul, filling that void in your heart, therefore making you whole. This is a personal choice that no one can make for you. To walk the path God has chosen is what you wish to pursue. Now comes a public display of your personal choice. It is something you do, not announce with your voice. You follow Jesus into believers' baptism, a chance for the rest of us to rejoice and welcome. Baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit can be an overwhelming experience, I must admit. Jesus told his disciples to baptize their disciples as well. To follow all of Jesus' commands, they were also to tell. By accepting that Christ died to pay for our sin, following him in baptism shows our faith is genuine. Jesus asked John to baptize him, to fulfill all righteousness. It is the way to publicly display what you inwardly confess. We know that baptism does not make our sin go away, but God will help us resist it every step of the way. Amen.